Hello everyone, in today's video we'll be looking at creating this balsa plan. Now the first step will be drawing the external parameters for your project. This will be the size of your balsa sheet you'll be given. From there we will start drawing the external cut line for your balsa plan. So to begin with, if we scroll out into your laser cutting view. Now then what we want to do from here is select construction layer. So we'll come down at the top select construction layer and then we'll go across and press line from here we'll choose a base point and then hover across at zero degrees and type in 455 now 455 is the total length of balsa you will be given and then if you scroll down to 90 degrees with your mouse hovering over and type in 90 and press enter we'll then use the construction constraint by hovering over the red, sorry, the green square, and then dragging down slowly until that snaps there at 90 degrees. Press again, and then we'll close off the box and click one more time. And we'll press escape to get out of that. So here we have our bounding box. From here, we'll select it all. We'll then right click, and we'll just group this together. So select it all, right click, group together. We will then change to cut layer. Now this is the layer we need if we want to do any cutting. And the first thing I'll start to draw is the body of the balsa plane. So I'm going to start down the bottom corner here. Now your plane will be slightly different, however I'm just going to draw a very basic shape. So just to go over the basic principles of drawing yours in AutoCAD. So we'll hover over zero degrees again and we'll type in 290 millimeters and press enter then i'm going to go up 44 millimeters press enter and then after my computer loads we will go across again 15 millimeters we'll press enter and then we'll press escape to get out of that now to create this curve or spline tool here We'll come back over to here, we'll zoom in, and we'll choose at the top here, underneath Draw, there's a Spline tool. Now you can either click that or you can start typing in Spline. And there it is again, it comes up, so I can press Enter. Now it says Specify First Point, so I'll start at the bottom corner. I'll press that once, and I don't want the nose to be too sharp, so I'm going to start up here, then come around, and then create my airfoil shape. So you can play with this after also. So once I finish, I'll click the endpoint, and then it still wants to continue, but if I just press enter, that'll close it off there. Now, if I wanted to change this angle slightly, if I click on that line, it comes up with all the points. Now, if I click that, I can actually stretch that point. And I can create a slightly different shape from that and fit it how I'd like it. Okay, and there we have it there. So let's press escape. Now the next part we're going to draw is the top wing. The top wing. So we'll come back over here. Now if you can have a look at that again, sorry. It's a symmetrical shape, so we actually only need to draw half of it, then we'll mirror it to the other side. So I'm going to scroll back over. And we'll click down the bottom here. We only need to make the wing... 160 so that'll give me 320 mil millimeters in total and then I'm going to come up 40 millimeters and I come across again again I'll just drag that point up and that will lock in there I'll press enter now I want to create a fillet on this corner so if we come up the top here to select fillet and then it says first select your object. Before I do that, I need to specify the radius. So down the bottom here, it says radius. So if I click on that and then type in the radius I want. So I want a radius of 25 millimeters. Press enter. Select the top line carefully and then the bottom line. And that'll automatically trim the corner. So from here, I just want to mirror it to the other side. So I'm going to select those two lines and the top line. Then come across to mirror at the top here. Select that, 
and then it says specify the first point of mirror line. So that's the middle. So I'll click on the middle, and then you can see it rotating around, and then it locks on. I'll click there, and it asks me, do I want to erase this first object? No, I don't want to do that. So I'll just press Enter, and there we have it. Now, as you can see, it's slightly outside our bounding box. So to move that back in, if I click and drag to the right, that'll select only the wing and not our construction line box. So from there, I'll just press M for move, and then it'll come up, press Enter, select that bottom corner. And now I can drag this across to the end here. And there we have it. In the next video, I'll go over creating the little back wing and then also the slots for the wing. Thank you.